AJ Barnburner, man. Oh, man. I'll tell you what. I thought I was going to see Battle Royale, Clarion Staff versus UNC Staff on the mat. How, I mean, you guys come up short, but it, it's got to be a pleasure to get your blood pumping. You know you're live after a match like that, right? It is. It was great. Uh, you know, coming up to Pennsylvania, it's you know it's wrestling country, and and we loved it. Going to Edinburgh and beating Edinburgh was was a high for our year. Obviously, uh, we're not really a dual meet team. You know, we're a tournament team, and, and we realize that. And it's always nice to win the dual meets, but uh, it, and it's good to have these these barn burners, like you said. But either way, it's all for the end of the year, and. We just want our guys to get better and better. Some of our guys were taking a lot more shots than before, get a little more aggressive. You know, I feel bad for Kyle. It kind of came down to came down to him, and I think it was uh, you know a questionable call here and there. But but that happens. It's wrestling. So I think uh, the weekend overall, we're, we're happy with that. You know, it would have been nice to go three and zero, but uh, it happens. And uh, we got one more dual meet against Citadel, and then we're going to start peaking and busting them up for ACCs. All right, when you guys, you know, uh, not getting that first takedown, Kiss doesn't get that first takedown 165, which clearly to me, and it was right in front of me, and you'll see it on film, but look like a hit takedown. Do you think that steals momentum from you? Definitely, it definitely steals momentum. That was, it, it was for sure a takedown in our, in our mind, but uh, those things happen, and, and all you really can do is go and ask for an interpretation and hope that he changes the call. It didn't go our way this time. Uh, you know, and then Scott's pin, I mean, we, that Scott's one of our studs. We, we definitely hope that he gets a win most of the time, and, and just uh, the whole momentum period was, uh, was rough for us right there at the end. Um, I think with that arm going over top, Kyle lost a little feeling in his arm throughout the match. He was having a little trouble holding that single leg in. With that head which, lover? Yes, which, which happens, you know. They're, you got Oklahoma State with Jack and then, and then Teague screaming at each other, you know, saying it's an arm bar, it's whatever. It's intentional. You know, he was definitely trying to hurt him, but it's wrestling. You know, it, you can't get mad at the guy. I'm not mad at him. It just sucks that it, didn't, it wasn't going our way this time. All right, when you guys were out there on the mat, did you think, I thought it was going to be a battle royale. Did one of you guys have you a know, chair? You know, that was me in the background. Yeah. You know, I actually, I wasn't really sure what was going on. I was kind of, uh, I was kind of paying attention to the guys in the back. I was talking to somebody, and then, and then it kind of jumped up really quick. And once everybody started going on the mat, I wasn't really sure if it was for the injury or if it was uh, for the fight. Then when I started hearing the F-bombs, I kind of realized that it was uh, coach versus coach. So. Okay, you guys last year had seven qualifiers. This year, I'm looking at it, you know, uh, 25. But, our, you know, besides 25, he's a, he's a freshman, he's a young guy, he's pretty undersized. Yep. It looks like everybody else could, could you know, make an, an argument to, to get the national tournament. Yeah, I, like I said, we're a tournament team, and that and that's kind of what the what the new place is coming, you know, the new qualifiers going into, beating beating other ranked kids and, and we're capable of doing that. And with our with our team, the way that everybody's working, everybody's getting together and, and, and getting behind each other, we love it. I'm having fun. I've had more fun this year than I've had in many years in the past here at Carolina and and uh, just our leadership is now starting to become solidified and I love it. I, I just wish I wish I had Jeremy Shaw and those guys back for another year. Jeremy's been unbelievable. He had a great weekend this weekend. On paper, beat some kids he shouldn't have beaten, but we, we know it, we've seen it, and he's probably the hardest worker on our team, and, and uh, we hate to see him go, but it would be nice for uh, some of other freshmen to come up. We got some freshmen in the red shirts right now that, that we're waiting for for next year, so we're ready to go. We got a lot of guys pushing. What do you think uh, guys like Drury and Haddad take from a weekend like this, you know, just like dominating guys the way that they did? I mean, Dennis, Hada, is, Hada, Hada, Dennis Hada. is nasty. Dennis yeah. is nasty. Yeah, he's, he's good. Gigantic. He, yes, and he's funky. Uh, if he's on, he is on. He's on. And uh, Z is Z's young. You know, he's he was a weird heavyweight. He, he likes to. He used to like to back up and shoot that sweep single. And high school kids fall down a lot easier than college guys. You know, so he's starting to get that, starting to get that learning curve and, and wrestling with with Coach Jensen in the room, beating him up here and there. I think it's uh, going to do nothing to make him better. He's going to be good. All right, AJ, you got anything else for me? That's it, man. I wish we would have been on the, uh, the other side, but uh, enjoy the dual meet. All right, hey, thanks for the time. Good luck, and uh, we'll be seeing you in Omaha. Thanks.